Hello, Thorndale. As you all know, the last few weeks have brought us a series of new fears, challenges, and opportunities. Many people are worried about their health and the health of their friends and families. Our students are wondering about how long this crisis will last and how long until we can go back to school and all the activities that are so important to them. I certainly don't have all the answers, but I want to try and give you all as much information as I can. First of all, let me say that the staff at Thorndale ISD has been incredible. They've been asked to redesign just about everything that they are accustomed to and find a new way to deliver instruction. There are so many challenges in this process that I cannot list them all, but they have not complained, not once. Your principals, athletic directors, maintenance, custodial technology, and finance directors have been working nonstop since we made the decision to close the school. In fact, I've had to tell them to go home in the evenings on several occasions. When they were informed of what was happening, they shifted into high gear and got to work. Your teachers and paraprofessionals have been nothing short of amazing. They dug in and looked for resources. They came up with idea after idea, some having already begun sending out assignments, videos, documents, and even organizing online class video meetings. Our staff is finding ways and they will continue to work to find new ways and innovative ways to reach our students. For our middle school and high school students, we're working to use the Chromebooks that they all have in their hands. For our younger students, we're looking to communicate with parents through email and class dojo, and our teachers have prepared take-home packets and assignments that many parents actually started picking up today. We have quite a few Wi-Fi hotspots that students have checked out, and we may even have a few extra, that will provide internet access at home. We know that these don't work in all areas, and that there are some uh, that are struggling to find a reliable source for internet. If you live in or near town, Spectrum is providing free access for two months. If that is not an option, our Wi-Fi in all of our buildings is very reliable. If you pull up outside those buildings in a vehicle, your students should be able to connect automatically with their school devices. We do ask that you stay in your vehicle, if at all possible, to maintain social distancing. We know that this is all very new and we're continually working the kinks out for some time. It is not perfect, but it is amazing what has been accomplished in such a short time. Parents, grading will look different for the time being. Your teachers will likely be giving students feedback on assignments, but you may not see those assignments in the gradebook just yet. This is a work in progress. During a normal school day, teachers and staff routinely chase kids around to ensure that they are doing their assignments and turning them in. That will be much tougher to accomplish in our current situation. We really need parents to take on that role. Please be diligent in checking on your child's assignments and making sure they are working every day. We have great participation in our extracurricular activities and this current normal that we are living with is certainly disrupting those activities. As you probably know, the UIL has now extended their cancellation of events all the way through May 4th. This includes practices and competitions. They have stated that they may allow practices to resume at some point if it looks like play will be able to resume on May 4th. This is obviously affecting many other events such as Band FFA, our Milan County Youth Fair which was canceled, and others. I know that it is very tough for all of our kids to be sitting at home, but it is important to remember that the guidelines that our president and our governor have put in place are designed to protect everyone. Even if a young person contracts the virus and has no symptoms, they could easily give it to someone else that may not be so lucky. So please, students, for the next few weeks, stay away from each other. If you need to go for a run or do push-ups or go outside to throw, catch, hit, run, or whatever you want to do to stay in shape, please do it with your family members that you know are not contagious. In fact, getting outside is probably a great thing to do as long as you're not around other people. I would like nothing better than to get back to normal and see all of your faces in the classroom, on the field, on the track, or the golf course, or wherever you're happy. For now, all of our facilities are closed to students except to pick up assignments from teachers or staff members. If teachers need you to pick up something from school, they will let you know when and where to come to avoid large groups of people coming all at once. We will continue to offer meals to all of our students free of charge as long as school is closed. Starting on Monday the 23rd, we will be serving a lunch along with the next day's breakfast each day from 11.30 to 12.30 in the driveway behind the cafeteria. We actually had nearly 60 students get a lunch today. In the coming weeks, we may switch to offering all meals for a week to be picked up on the Monday for the entire week. Again, any Thorndale ISD student is eligible for a free lunch and breakfast. The student does not have to be present to pick up the lunch. 
I want to reassure all of our parents and students. This is something new and different, but we are embracing it, and we will work to do our very best to make it as good as it can be. It won't be perfect, and we will likely have to make adjustments as we go along. The most important thing to remember is that this will pass. I'm not certain when, but at some point, the restaurants will reopen, and we'll be able to sit and eat with our friends. The ballparks will reopen, and we'll be able to watch our kids play again. The churches will open once again, and we'll be able to worship together. The movie theaters will reopen, and the museums, and everything else. This situation may be scary and frustrating and very often boring, but it will pass. Just hang in there. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, and I hope to see you soon.